What's good, YouTube? It's your man, Rage King, back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, ask if you please go down there and hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, and hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rumble Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe in y'all on today's video. I, bro, it, very rarely am I ever blown away by an album. What album am I talking about? The J. Cole, the all-season album. If y'all have not heard that album yet, go check it out. In my opinion, so far, the album of the year, and it's not even close. It's not even close. From songs like Amari to Let My Hand Go. To, bro, the banger for me, the song that did it for me with that album that tied, the, that tied that whole album together was that song called My Life He Did with 21 Savage, bro. When I'm telling you, that that song right there made me feel something I haven't felt in a long time, bro. You know what I'm saying? In the world of, of, of Cardi B's and Greg the Stallions, yes, I said Greg the Stallion because that bitch got a dick and balls. Until I see different, that motherfucker got a dick and balls. Greg the Stallion got a dick and balls. You don't name your, you don't be a female and name yourself after a male horse, all right? In the world of Cardi B's and, and Greg the Stallions and, and Sweeties, you know what I'm saying? And 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 your, your little Nas X is you come in, rubbing all on his nipples and, and being on stripper poles and, and and shaking his ass for another and for, for for the devil and not in a world of all that, J. Cole came back and reminded us that hip hop is still very much alive. You understand what I'm saying? Not that bullshit, you know what I'm saying, that you two want to recommend to you. That you never, that you ain't never heard one of them motherfucking songs before. No, this is a true, authentic hip hop album. This album is hip hop. This, when I heard, when I heard that album, bro, I literally said out loud, "This is hip hop. This is hip hop." Like I say, the whole album go off. You understand what I'm saying? Amari go off. Let let my hand go go off. Ninety five South go off. Whole album go off. But I gotta say, my favorite song on there is that song, "My Life" with him and Twenty One Savage, bro. Absolutely wrecked it. 21 Savage continues to remind, I think, you know, I don't, I'm the only person I know that like 21 Savage. I don't, you know, he's not somebody I would necessarily go to. Like he was, he's not the first, he's not the first person I'd wake up to and want to listen to, but he's damn sure somebody I turn, I'd listen to when I'm, you know, want to get a workout in or when I'm just sitting back, you know, streaming on Twitch or whatnot. You understand what I'm saying? He's definitely, I think he, I think those two, those two right there are two of the most underrated rappers in the game right now. And especially when they collab, they have some of the most fire collabs. In the rap game today, I don't care what nobody say. You understand? So I understand that's my opinion, but I'm sorry, you're not gonna. That, that's just one of them opinions I'm gonna be ignorant about right there. You're not gonna convince me that them two don't produce fire tracks and fire collaborations each and every time they do a track together, man. Listen to that song, in my life, and in specific, man. Uh, from minute from the two minute twenty uh, and twenty four second mark all the way to the three minute and, and five second mark, bro. 21 Savage spits some of the most fire bars I've ever heard. And I dedicate that to every last bitch motherfucker that has ever come across in my life and ever double crossed me, man. I dedicate that verse to you. Uh, that, that goes out to family. That goes out to former friends. That, that even goes out to people that's recruiting me for the Masons. You understand what I'm saying? Cause I ain't going. So stop trying. I ain't going. I'd much rather take my choices and take my chances walking with God than to sit here and, and trust a bunch of people that ain't waiting to do nothing but whack me as soon as I, as soon as I do something to piss them off. But that's just me. Different strokes for different folks. Like father, like son, indeed. So with that being said, bro, if you have not listened to that album, bro, go check it out. L listen to the whole thing. It's one of them albums you really don't have to skip over. You understand what I'm saying? But if you're going to listen to one song in particular, bro, listen to that song, My Life, man. And to be honest with you, I'm going to end the video on this. If I do not hear at least one to two of this man's songs from that album, the off season on the radio in the next week, I am going to be highly fucking offended. You understand what I'm saying? That's how good it is. You know, you know, the album is good when you got to tell somebody about it and you got to make a face with it. Like you, like you mad, but you got to take a shit and you want to cry all at the same time. Look like this. You tell somebody like this. Hey man, you heard that J Cole. Yeah, you, you see what I'm saying? It look like I want to cry. It look like I got to take a shit. And it look like I'm mad and happy all at the same time. Bro, you heard that J. Cole? You know what I'm saying? Bro, that album is like that. I, I don't give a damn nobody say. J. Cole is like that, bro. Anybody that proved to me somebody, show me somebody out there that's not that J. Cole is not shitting on right now. And like I say, y'all can keep your Lil Nas X. I can keep your Cardi B's. You can keep all them motherfuckers. 
J. Cole right now with this album just showed that he is still on top of the game right now, bro. I don't care what nobody say. But that's just my opinion, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the new J. Cole album if you've heard it already. If you have not, please go check it out, man. I don't, like I said, I don't even do videos like this, but I had to speak on this because that album is so far, bro. I'm finna go listen to that bitch right now as soon as I'm done with this video. You understand what I'm saying? Listen to it all over again. So y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about the J. Cole album, The Offseason, man. Let me know if y'all agree or disagree with my takes on it. As long as you remain respectful and logical, we can have a conversation. But that's going to be the end of my video, man. I hope you enjoyed it. It's been a pleasure making it for you. My name is Rage King. I am out, and I'll be back later on with more videos, more commentary, more good content. Now, hashtag that enough says. See y'all next time.